my dear viewers today i have brought a discussion in a nutshell about vector group of a transformer and its importance and how to read a vector group i have a request to my dear viewers please watch the video till end and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to encourage me for making better video next what is vector group for a transformer a vector group is a method of categorizing the high voltage winding and low voltage winding configurations of three phase transformer by international electrotechnical commission iec the vector group indicates the winding's connection and the difference in phase angle between them as example a yhv winding and a delta lv winding with a 30 degree lead is denoted as yd11 why is the vector group important to specify different combinations of winding connections will result in different phase angles between the voltages on the windings transformer connected in parallel must have the same vector group because the mismatching of phase angle as well as connections will result in circulating current and short circuit of system which have detrimental effects during representation of vector group one connection symbol of windings and two phase displacement between them should be stated clearly three phase transformer consists of three sets of primary winding one for each phase and three sets of secondary windings owned on the same iron core hv is owned on lv winding the voltage transformation is determined by the ratio between the number of turns of the two windings on primary and secondary sides in the three phase transformer the transformation ratio can be changed by going from star to delta connection this gives us mixed connections In the case of mixed connections the ratio between the main voltage on the primary and secondary sides is not equal to the ratio between the number of turns the primary windings are connected in one of several ways the two most common configurations are delta and star in delta the polarity end of one winding is connected to the non polarity end of the next and the star in which all three non polarities or polarity ends are connected together the secondary windings are connected similarly here 1v1 1v1 1w1 are polarity ends and 1u2 1v2 1w2 are the non polarity ends windings to form delta connection polarity ends 1u1 is connected with non polarity end 1v2 polarity end 1v1 is connected with non polarity end 1w2 polarity end 1w1 is connected with non polarity end 1u2 
to form star connection. Full non-polarity ends 1u2, 1v2, 1w2 are connected at a point to form star. An AC voltage is applied to a coil primary, well induced a voltage in a second coil secondary, where the two are linked by a common magnetic path. The phase relationship of the two voltages depends upon which way the coil are connected. The voltage will either be in phase or displaced by a certain degree depends upon the way of connections. A number of options exist to use the three coils in a transformer as winding. The coil voltages can be in phase or displaced by a certain angle depends upon coil connected in star or delta and in the case of a star winding have the star point neutral brought out to an external terminal or not. When both coils of transformer have same direction, the voltage induced in both coils are in same direction from one end to other end. When two coils have opposite winding direction, then voltage induced in both coils are in opposite direction. When the primary and secondary windings are connected same, the secondary voltage waveforms will not differ from the corresponding primary voltage waveforms. This is called a zero degree phase displacement. But when the primary and secondary windings are connected differently. The secondary voltage waveforms will differ from the corresponding primary voltage waveform by 30 electrical degree. This is called a 30 degree phase displacement. When two transformers are connected in parallel, their phase displacement must be identical. If not, a short circuit will occur when the transformers are energized.
the digits 0 1 11 etc related to the phase displacement between the hv and lb winding using a clock face notation the phase representation the hv winding is taken as reference and set at 12 o'clock phase relation is always anti clockwise the phase bushing on three phase transformer are marked either a b c u v w or 1 to 3 hv side capital lv side small letter when transformer are operated in parallel it is important that vector group of each is the same parallel occurs when transformer are located at one site and connected to a common bus again paralleling occurs when transformers are located at different site but the secondary terminal typically connected via distribution or transmission circuits consisting of cables and overhead lines thank you for watching this video